Hey, this video is going to be about Dungeon Crawl Classics role-playing game. And this is a huge book. Just throwing it out there to you. This is a beast. Um, but it feels right. It, this big tome feels good. That's what it should be. That's what a role-playing game should be. Boom. Throw that down on the table. It's got some weight. It makes a noise. And uh, it's make you know its presence is felt. Okay? Um, when thinking about making this video... There's a lot of videos out there about Dungeon Crawl Classics. There's a lot of uh, reviews out there. And it's hard not to talk about the system. But you can go watch those other reviews. You can see how the system is. I'm just going to tell you that I'm a big fan of it. Mainly because of the it's a minimalist system. It takes, you know, to take on the D20, it uses some funky dice. Yes, you can read all about that or read videos about that. But what Dungeon Crawl Classics does is it doesn't give you all those things that create your character. It lets you say, hey, my guy is going to be like this, or my girl is going to be like this. Um, there's no feats. There's nothing like that. You don't get to shape and change your character with a bunch of minuses and pluses, and I've got this ability and this feat. What it does is it says, "Are you? do you want to play a warrior? Yep. I want to play a warrior. Okay, this is what a warrior does. This is what a thief does. Okay, well, but what about if I want to try to do this and I want to try to do that? No, no, no. This is what a warrior does. If you're playing a warrior, this is what they do. When the spotlight hits you, you're going to do your warrior thing. And your buddy over here, he's a thief. He's going to do his thing. Okay? And I know that there might be some gamers that might have an issue with that. They're used to having a character that's a real jack of all trades. I can do whatever I want. I've got this. I've got spells. i got weapons, you know all over the place, I can jump, I can do all these crazy, uh, amazing feats. Dungeon Crawl Classic says, play your role. And if you want to make a, a different character, role play him that way. Make him this, make him that, make him crazy, make him funny, um, make him exciting. That's on you, okay? And it also focuses, obviously, on the name, Dungeons. You're going to be in ruins, you're going to be in lairs, you're going to be in temples, you're going to be in ancient tombs of... of uh, Long dead sorcerers. And that's really what I want to focus on is what will you be doing if you play Dungeon Crawl Classics? And it's all good. It's all fun. For starters, you're gonna be dying. There's number one. Dying dying's enjoyable, I'll be honest with you. You know, after playing so many role-playing games where people have these characters that are almost like Highlanders that can't die, it's fun to to know that the character that you randomly rolled up who survived the character funnel at zero level, became a cleric, became a warrior, became a thief, uh, he tries to open up a door and a spear goes through his face. That's detrimental. Okay, He's dead. You need your face and you need your brains that are in your head. But the spike now has killed you. And that's going to be funny. This character just died. Boom. And I think for a lot of gamers, they've gotten so used to a lot of these other games where their characters are you know, not immortal, but they survive a lot of stuff. And this game says, you're still fragile. You're outside the realm of normal uh, human, elf, dwarf, halfling type lifestyle. And if you want to go in and get the treasure, then you better be ready to pay a price. And so I really enjoy that. I like how you can die. And the best, one of the best things about it is that it's a, you're going to have a story to tell. All your buddies are going to be sitting there around the table and one of you is going to die, and it's, you're going to laugh. Something's going to happen funny. He's crushed by stones. The monster rips his face off. Um, you know, again, spear trap, pit trap, uh, gas attack. He's dead. Just rip that character up, throw him away. You might have some more characters you're playing with. If you're you know, generally lower level, you're going to play with some more characters. And so that character died, and you can say, hey, remember when that guy did that? And remember when this guy took this fall? And, uh, you know, he bashed his brains out on the rocks. Ha ha, he had one hit point. You know, you're going to have that at zero level. You're going to have one, two, three hit points, and he's going to die. And you're going to say, oh, oh, well, that peasant died. He wanted something better in life, and he met his grisly fate. And what, what, what it's going to do is it's going to make those characters that survive a little bit more personal to you. This character made level five. You have a level five DCC RPG character. Well, hold on to that one. You know, you've made it through some stuff, and I like that. It's a different change, it's a different take on really what I think a lot of mainstream role-playing games have done over the years. And it really harkens back to that 70s death that used to occur a bunch. 
And we've gotten a lot of, in the games, you've gotten a lot of abilities and powers that let you survive. And that's all well and good, and that's still fun. It's fun to have that super character. But it's also have these fragile characters that make it through these terrible uh, layers and dungeons and, um, you know, caves full of monsters. Uh, you know, that's fun to be like, this guy survived it. This guy made it. Um, the skill section's great. I love how they do skills. You know, whatever you your character knows when he was, you know, when he was a, uh, a woodcrafter, that's what he knows. If he was a peasant, that's what his character knows. And obviously, you know, you can you can play with that the skill section a little bit as much as you want. But really, I think what's great about it is several things. One, Goodman Games, who makes the game, they are fantastic. They put out fantastic, unbelievable adventures. The artwork's great in them. They're cheap. They support PDF. Uh, and that goes the same way with third party. All these third party companies out there, and I'll be spotlighting some uh, some adventures and some other videos. They are passionate about it as well, and that passion goes right into the community. Google Plus, Twitter. There are some guys on there that are just really in it, and they're helpful, and they're making great community stuff for it. Because Goodman Games has said, "This is it. This book here. That's what we're making." If you want anything else, it's going to have to be third party. We're going to put out a bunch of cool adventures for you. And I really like that. It shows me that they're sticking to their guns. They're making great adventures that are cheap. They're not making all these splat books. If you want the splat material, it's out there in third party. It's fan made. And use it or not. Use it if you need it or not. But I really just like the book how it is. And yes, maybe down the road I'll, I'll dabble in some of the third party extras to add on to the game. Um, it's got two great adventures in it, which are the first adventure, I, I haven't played the second one, but um, the first adventure in it is fantastic. It really gives you the feel of Dungeon Crawl Classics. I love how the magic is very chaotic. You're dealing with forces that are way beyond what you're, you know, what you're trying to do, and uh, they're powerful entities. And if you roll poorly, they smite you, they crush you, they transform you, they corrupt you. That's fun, but if you roll real well, then you're very powerful. So, you know, those things, that, that makes the game interesting as well. Uh, magic that you just, it's chaotic. You don't know exactly what's going to happen with it. And I always like that kind of little bit of fear with it. But now, what are your characters going to be doing when they play Dungeon Crawl Classics? Well, like I said, starting off, they're going to be a peasant. They're not going to be re very well armed, and they'll have a lot of, they'll have low hit points, okay? But you're going to be doing some crazy funny things. Your character may have a duck. Yeah, and he's going to... You know, you're going to have players throwing this duck into the dungeon rooms to see if, if spikes or flames or something destroy this duck. You're going to be, you know, luring a, a Betsy, the cow, into a room to see if spikes, you know, get her. That's how your character's going to play. And right there, just knowing that you have a duck as the start of one of your starting, you know, items, that's hilarious. And, and you're going to be talking about that. Throwing this duck and it's quacking and, you know, flying into this room and maybe something happens, maybe nothing happens. Um, so that's what your characters are going to be doing. That's what you'll be doing as players. Um, you're going to be dying. I've already covered that. And that's going to be funny. You're going to have some fun moments with that. But the adventures that Goodman Games make, they really focus on your characters are in these strange, uh, ancient places with... And, and they're, they're practically talking to gods or ancient demons, um, entities from another plane of existence. It really... A lot of their adventures seem to be you're really ramped up instantly into something very foreign, very bizarre, and that is exciting. Um, most of the, you know, most a lot of adventures sometimes will have some sort of, uh, you know, from other games and uh, other publishers, you know, it, there'll be uh, it's a great adventure, and there's an enemy, and and it may be uh, you know an evil ogre or troll or um, you know, a baron or something in a town or city. This takes you, and you're you're dealing with ancient, dead sorcerers. Um, you know, gods that are being resurrected by strange cults, and that's you know tentacled monsters coming up out of the water. You know, of unknown origin or what the heck is it? You don't know, and that's what Dungeon Crawl Classics is cool about. If you know if you're going to get one of their adventures, it's going to have something. And you'll hear me say this word a lot, but it really encompasses everything it does. You're going to have some gonzo adventures. They're going to be wacky. They're going to be crazy. 
They're going to be really, not out of this world, but they're just really on the fringe of maybe stuff that you've not seen before, and that is exciting. Um, there's some great third-party stuff out there, like I've said. Uh, and their adventures, a lot of people are really grasping onto that feel for Dungeon Crawl Classics. Um, you know, I can't, like I said, I can't say much more about it uh, positive. I, mean, I could sit here and, you know, and, and go on and on about the system. It's easy to learn. It's fun to play. It's deadly. It's It really encompasses everything fantasy. Um you know, otherworldly uh, events and entities that you're going to be facing. Um, it's a great, great game. And it's one that I hope to be playing for a very long time. And it is my, you know, when I want to play a retro game, retro fantasy game, it's going to be Dungeon Crawl Classics. It's really well supported. The artwork is amazing. Um, Doug Kovacs has amazing covers. He's got amazing art. William McAuslin is is fantastic. Uh, the list goes on and on, the authors and they're Jeff Easley, a personal favorite of mine since I was a child. It's got a lot of great art in it. And the art really goes together. The book, to you know, when you have it in your hand, it just feels right. It feels like, yes, this is all I need. Just give me some friends, give me some dice, give me some time, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So, Check out Dungeon Crawl Classics. Um, I love that this big book is only $40 to get, the main book. And then you're set. Grab this. Go on uh, a trip sometime. You know, get you some dice. Grab this. Some pen, paper. Uh, bring your buddies. And you're going to have fun. Characters are going to get skewered. They're going to get flayed alive. They're going to get burned. Um, but if they survive, they're going to become heroes. And that's what's fun. And that's exciting. So check it out, guys, Dungeon Crawl Classics. Um, a little look into what you're going to be doing should you uh, choose to delve into the, uh, the dark dungeons. All right. Thanks, guys.